Well, hello everyone, and welcome to What the Hell Am I Playing? And this time I am playing Power Drill Massacre. This was a game that was requested of me by YouTube user Goldie. And I don't know much about it. It is a, a horror-themed game that is supposed to be trying to invoke the spirit of early PlayStation 1 games and 80s slasher films. Now, I did play this a little bit off-screen, just to make sure that it worked, and to get an idea of the controls and that sort of thing. So, a couple of things I want to bring to your attention is, we're currently playing it under DVD mode. There's DVD and VHS. DVD is a higher resolution and removes a lot of the filters on VHS mode that is there to make it look more like an old VHS tape. When I was playing it like that, well, it was a little too dark to see on the stream that I was trying this on. So I've decided we'll go with DVD style. I've also increased the brightness and the gamma quite a bit to help with that problem. I also have the controls set up for a Xbox controller. It didn't work great, and I don't know if it's going to work great now, but we're going to play and we're going to try. So let us start a brand new game. One thing I do know is we can't skip this. So there we go. Puppet Combo is the name of the fellow who has created this game. It's not actually a full game yet, I think this is just a, I don't know, it's not really a demo, even though it's called a demo, I think it's maybe more of a proof of concept or something. Now, I am wearing the headset, so I can kind of hear what they're saying on the radio. And there are subtitles for this game, so when the characters are talking, we'll be able to read what they're saying in addition to hearing it. Actually, no, I don't think that any of the dialogue for the characters is voiced. Jeff? Are you okay? Ugh, I can't feel my legs. Don't worry, Jeff. I'll go get help. This is the worst headache ever. But I think I'm alright. It's getting dark. Get to get the flashlight out of the trunk. Alright, so I have control of Megan here. And we move around with tank controls. The only problem, though, is these tank controls are mapped to the analog stick. And analog tank controls don't feel great. Now, is that Jeff in the car? Kind of looks like he is. Yeah, he's not in good shape. Now, I can change the camera angle to one that's really kind of close to her. And one that's pulled back a little bit. I think I run with the X button. Yeah, there we go. And I can investigate or search with the A. My flashlight. Pick it up. No, no, let's just leave it in the car. I turn the flashlight on and off with B. I don't know how much of a difference it makes just yet. Oh, the Power Drill Massacre. Copyright Vague Scenarios. So, yeah, she is booking it. Look at her go. Now, the first time I was playing, I probably spent about five or six minutes just running around outside trying to figure out where the heck I was going. I still, I'm still not entirely sure I figured out where the heck I'm going. But I eventually made it to a building. So let's see if we can do that again. Now, the camera angles just keep changing, and it's 
Well, it's pretty disorienting for me. And there's our car, so yeah, when this was went into a circle. What if I change the camera angle? No, this does not look to be much better. In fact, I might say this is worse. Oh, I think this is where we want to go. That looks like a building in the distance. Maybe I can use the phone. And that is a building in the distance, and we are going to try to get there. We are doing much better this time around. And there's a, like a big shack out here. What creepy old shed? It's boarded up. Yeah, if we go around behind it, though, looks like some kid drew a pentagram back here. Yeah, look. Got the mark of Samael over here. So apparently, Power Drill Massacre takes place in Silent Hill. Well, the same universe as Silent Hill. Wouldn't that be fun? Alright, Megan, come on. Come on, don't get stuck on the geometry. I did this before. We can do this again. Right? Right, video game? Alright, we've made it up this little mountain path. Here's the building she saw. And a car. Just a junk car. Nothing interesting inside. And look, another shed. It's another abandoned shed. It looks exactly like the last one. Now, I have no clue if this makes any difference. But I was able to get up on top of this shed. Well, I was. Then the game decided no. There we go. Come on, video game. And I fell through it. I didn't fall through it last time. I wonder if we can get out. Good work, Eddie. You broke the game. And I just fell through the world. Wonderful. Alrighty, hang on. Okay, that was spectacular. Alright, let's try to get back to that building and not do that again.
Oh, hello. Don't need to fall through the world anymore today. Come on, Megan. Well, since you mentioned Silent Hill, I already pointed this out earlier. Because I've been playing the game for a while now, and I've already fallen through the world once. There's a shed over here. What a creepy old shed. It's boarded up. Come on. Someone painted the mark of Samael on the back of the shed. Annoying kids. Annoying kids and all their devil worship. So, will the third time be a charm, or are we just destined to never get a look at this game? Yes, yeah, so we went over here, we saw the mark of Samael, and our game was cursed, and it crashed on us. Ah, okay. So, we're not going to screw around outside, because when I screwed around outside, we, we fell through the mountain. I want to head over here to these stairs. All right, the door is open. Go inside. Yes. What a creepy building. Now here's where the game starts in earnest. Uh-oh. What was that? It's locked. Somebody locked me in. So at this point, our only choice is to explore. I didn't explore in here for long before I was caught and killed. Just a greasy old toilet. Nothing useful. Now, if I'm quiet, I can make out the sounds of someone else walking around. Well, so let me tell you something. With the controls I have set up right now, if someone tries to chase me down and kill me, they, they're going to catch me. Alright, so far the game is exactly as I had played it last time. I don't know how long this game takes either. I don't even know if we can beat it. Some kind of machine. I don't think I can use this. It's a big drill. I guess this was a factory. Now, when I say I don't know if we can even beat this, it's because that this game is still in a early demo. It's some kind of machine. I don't think I can use this. So, you know, this game might not even have, you know, like an end state. 
It might just be us walking around, checking out the environment until we get killed. And then get killed again. And get killed a few more times. Until we're fed up with getting killed, that we stop playing. Now, I went upstairs last time. What happens if I go this way? You got me. Now, I think if we quit, we go back to the very beginning of the game. But if we retry, we should still be inside the building. Okay. Try this way. Now, the first time I played this, I did find some notes. It's a locked metal door. I feel like I'm being watched here. I wonder if that's maybe one of his spawn points. Oh, wait. Nope, nothing. I don't know if he can follow sounds, or light, or anything. Oh, we can go upstairs or downstairs. I did not find these set of stairs. locked. Ooh, there are three locks with splotches of paint. Blue, green, and red. Well, let's see if we can find blue, green, and red keys. It's open. Yeah, but where did it take us? Oh! That was like a little girl or something. Another newspaper article. Read it. The beginning is faded. I can't read it. She's my little girl. We just want her back. Wilbur said in a te tearful plea. According to the Wilburs, Christine was playing near the bushes towards the edge of the campsite. We called her for dinner, and she just wasn't there anymore. Police are looking for all Police are looking at all possibilities. Wild cat attacks are pretty common in this area, said Sergeant Bailey. But her parents think she was abducted. There was no bear or a cat. We didn't hear any animals. Somebody grabbed her. Somebody took her from us. That's all it says. Oh! Okay, I heard somebody screaming. Wait, didn't I just come this way? No, I don't think so. Alright, more of these machines. Ooh, what's this? Okay, maybe it's nothing. A dirty stove. A filthy refrigerator. It's empty. Now if I hit start, I just go back to this menu here. Yeah, Megan does kind of look like a golden eye character, doesn't she? More like a Nintendo 64 than a than a PlayStation 1, huh?
Oh, I am so boned. If anybody comes after me in here. Oh, what was that? Now, something flashed on the screen. I don't know if you guys saw it. Okay, no, we're not done looking down here. What's a bathtub doing here? You know, some people need to bathe sometimes. Now, I didn't find these paper clippings yet, but uh, the last time I played, I found paper clippings that said this was taking place in the Poconos. Okay, I actually didn't want to come down here, but I guess the game had other plans. Looks like a key. Pick it up. Got a key with blue paint. Oh. Alright, was that a good noise? Ah! Run, lady, run! Dead. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm not going to get very far with these controls. But do we get to keep that key, or do we have to go and get it again? I would assume we'd have to get it again. Alright, let me go upstairs. There were notes upstairs. Pocono Vanishings. No trace of missing campers. April 5th, 1985. Since 1978, 12 campers have disappeared over a 100, 100 mile stretch of the Pocono Mountains. We conduct dozens of search missions each year, says park ranger Charlie Plank. People come up here to camp, to hike, all the time without any experience. Accidents happen. While most rescues are successful, these 12 have stumped park rangers and local police. Campfires left burning, boots and jackets left behind, radio still playing, it's like these people were whipped up, ripped away from their campsites, says Abe Bradley, who was involved in the search. I can't read anymore. The ink has faded. Yeah, I used to... Ooh. Something in the fridge. Looks like a key. Oh, if I, I'm probably going to pick this key up, and the dude is going to come running. Okay. Yeah, he got me in here one time. Ugh, stuck. Okay. He's not on us yet. Alright, the door we need to use the keys on is up there. Blinding light and flashes no- oh. Yeah, blinding light and flashing noises. That sounds like this game. The begin is faded. I can't read it. Oh yeah, we read this. About the little girl. And we saw a little girl running around down here. Now, is she a ghost? Is she a people? I don't know. key was down here, right? Is it still here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so I'm guessing that the keys we have to find are randomly uh, randomly placed each time we play. Ok, 
Okay, I don't know if my heart can take too many more chases like that. I'll be honest with you, I have no sense of, of, <laughs> of location at all in this place. Oh, it looks like a key. So, is the dude going to come chasing after us now? Okay, let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, what did I do? Oh. Well, we fell through the world again. Alrighty. I, I think that's enough. What better way to end it than falling to the pitch blackness of time and space? Well, that was Power Drill Massacre. Um, this game is a mess, but it's supposed to be a mess. It's like like a really early demo. Uh, apparently, the guy who's making this has been working on it for a few years now. So, I don't know. And when I looked at his website, he said he was working on a completely different game. So, I don't know if this has been abandoned or if it's just put off to the side. Who knows? But, that's that. Thanks for watching. Wow. Wow. Wow.